In the beginning God created the heavens of the earth, and the Lord, as a collective of lords, made man upright. Man was naked and not ashamed, neither did he know the sin of incest, but dwelt like the beasts of the field. And the Lord, collective, brought the angels of heaven to man. By his side they took on forms like man, having all the organs and attributes of mortals, for it was the time of the earth for such things to be. So it came to pass, that a new race was born on the earth, and these were called Tehins, because they were begotten, that is, produced, of both heaven and earth. Consequently it became a saying, the earth conceived of the Lord. And this is the origin of the concept on earth, that Father Spirit impregnated Mother Earth, and brought forth life for man. And the name of the first race was Asu, because they were of the earth only. And the name of the second race was Ehin, because they were capable of being taught spiritual things. The Lord, collective, said, of all that live on the face of the earth, or in its waters, or in the air above, that breathes the breath of life, I have delivered only man to knowledge of his Creator. And the Lord, collective, spoke to the Ehin through his angels, saying, Go hide your nakedness, for it is the commandment of God. The Ahans were afraid, and they clothed themselves, and were no longer naked before the Lord, collective. Then the Lord, collective, commanded the angels to give up their forms, and to no longer be seen as mortals, to no longer be seen in corporeal form. And it was done. And the Lord said to them, Because you brought forth life, which is in flesh and blood, you shall minister to man for six generations on the face of the earth. And it was so. And so that man may continue to walk upright, you, procreating angels, shall teach him the law of incest, for man on his own, cannot attain to know this. Nor shall you, procreating angels, permit the Ahins to dwell with Asu, lest his seed go down in darkness. And man was thus inspired of the Lord, collective, and he walked upright, and prospered on the earth. But after a season man became conceited in his own judgment, and he disobeyed the commandments of God. And he, man, strayed out of the garden of paradise, and began to dwell with the Asuans, and there was born into the world a new race called Druk, and they did not have the light of the Father in them, neither could they be inspired with shame, nor with heavenly things. But the Ahans were grateful to the Lord, collective, and they gave sacrifice and burnt offerings. And they said to the Druks, Go sacrifice to the Lord, and he will prosper you. But the Druks did not understand, and they fell upon the Lord's chosen, and slew them, right and left, taking their possessions. Thus, will the Ahans pursued after sacrifice, which is to say Seth, or substitution, in place of Abel, or vanity, the Druks pursued after Cain, or possession and spear. And the Lord, collective, said to the Druks, Because you have slain your brethren you shall depart out of the place of God, and so that you may be known to the ends of the earth I put my mark upon you. And the mark of the Lord, collective, put upon the Druks was the shadow of blood, which, being interpreted, is war. For war is the distinguishing characteristic of the Druks, and their descendants and never pigmentation. For every person alive in the Cosmin era today descends from both Ahans and Druks, and those who war follow their Druk ancestry instead of their Ahan. And the Lord God, collective, said, By this sign, of war, the tribes of Druk and their descendants shall be known to the end of the world. And woman, being more helpless than man, cried out with fear, saying, O Lord, how shall I bring forth to you, and not to the sons of death? And the Lord, collective, said, Because you have brought forth in pain, and yet called on my name, behold, I will be as a shield and protector to you. For I will also put a mark upon the Ahans, my chosen, so you shall know them, when they come to you. And the Lord, collective, commanded the male Ahans, old and young, to be circumcised, so that woman would not be deceived by the drugs. And the Ahans circumcised their males, old and young, 
For it was the testimony of the Lord to woman, that seed of their seed, was born to everlasting life. And the trucks went away into the wilderness, and dwelt with the Assyrians, and with one another. The Lord, God, collective, said, I will make a boundary line between the tribes of trucks and the Ahans. And this is the line, that I the Lord God make between them. The Ahans shall labor and clothe themselves, and I, the Lord God collective, will remain with them. But the drugs shall wander in the wilderness, neither laboring nor clothing themselves. And it was so.